G'day everyone. If you're a regular, it's great to see you. And if you're not, then let me tell you that Virtual Family Church is a short, fun service for children and adults that meets at 9.30am every week on Clayton TV and YouTube, except in August. Now we've been looking back over the last few months in lockdown and we thought we'd put together some of our highlights. Let's start by meeting an old friend who we first met in May. She's a bit bossy, but her heart's in the right place. You brought me such a dear. Hello, everybody. My name is Mrs. Graham. Anna Graham. You know what that is? Because I love mixing up letters and then making people guess the word. Now, you might not have noticed, but all of our services have a theme like uh, the resurrection or uh, encouraging one another, and it's the same this week. So, what I'm going to do is spell out a word for you, but with the letters muddled up, and I want you to guess what the theme is for today. Doesn't that sound fun? Great. So, shall we start? I just need to look at my notes to, to remind myself of what the letters are because I do get a bit muddled up sometimes. Here we go. First letter, N for naughty. Second letter, O for oomph. Third letter, Y for yummy. <laughs> uh, fourth letter, e, e for eggy. In fact, there's two E's. Uh, uh, next one, G for grumpy. Mm. Next one, R for rumpus. Next one, S for super duper. Next one, I for idiot. Next one, V for Volvo. Very safe cars. And the last one is D for trolley. Love that word. Right. Can you guess what the word is? What the theme is? Here we go. Do 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 Sovereignty, which is just a fancy word. God's sovereignty is just a fancy word for saying that God is in control. Lovely, so see if you can spot that in the rest of the programme. That's me done with over and out. Over to you, Rodney. Such a lovely man, but he's a little bit scruffy. In May and June, we've been learning about God's sovereignty in the book of Daniel. And some of the characters from the stories have been helping us to learn a memory verse. In Daniel chapter 5, foolish King Belshazzar is shocked to see a hand writing a message of judgment from God on the wall. Hello, everybody. What's the crack? I'm the hand that wrote on King Belshazzar's wall. It's grand to meet you. As giant disembodied hands go, I'm a pretty friendly one. But all those posh people at the palace were absolutely terrified. To be fair, he didn't have a very cheery message for the king, but he had been acting the market. What an Egypt, using God's wine cups to get flubbered. Anyways, here's today's memory verse. You know the one you did last time with the fiery furnace? It goes, Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's Daniel, verse 26. And it's pure truth to be sure. Daniel's God can raise up kingdoms or he can pull them down with just a scribble on a wall. Who else can do that? Sure look it. Right, let's do some words and see if you can say it again. Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's Daniel 6 verse 26. Now you suck in diesel. Let's make it more tricky. Okay, wait. Daniel's God is a living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's Daniel 6, verse 26. Sound as a pound. That was fantastic. Right, I think I need a manicure after all of that. I was thinking gel nail extensions with extra sparkles. But I'm not sure if they do those in ancient Babylon. We'll have to look around. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 At Virtual Family Church, we've issued a few challenges for the kids along the way. Here's one from a service about God's help with loneliness during lockdown. Our resident origami expert, Evie, has some ideas for you. Today's challenge is to make and send an easy origami letter to someone you missed during lockdown. If you're feeling lonely, this is a wonderful way to stay in touch. I'm going to show you how. First, take an A4 piece of paper, colour paper is nice. Fold it in quarters and then write something encouraging to your person on each quarter. I did a message in the top corner. Three things I'm praying for them in the next. 
some things they can pray for me in the one after that, and also today's memory verse. Here comes the folding. You know everything about me. You know when I wake and sleep. You know everything I'm thinking. You know all my secret deeds. You know every word I When you're done, secure the piece of tape, stick on a stamp, add the name and address, and then pop it in the post. Even though we're sad not to be able to meet together to sing God's praises, we still love singing at Virtual Family Church. Here, Spike, one of our cartoon puppets, helps us to remember that God is bigger than any of our problems, even coronavirus. Sometimes life can get us down, things that happen make us frown, slip on a banana skin, trip and fall into a bin. Sometimes we just wonder why things that happen make us cry. We get ill or hurt ourselves, but we can always tell each other. We can always tell each other. God is big. Sometimes people make us sad, wind us up and make us mad, call us names or pull our hair, laugh about our underwear. Sometimes we feel on our own, things that happen make us grow, nothing seems to go our way, but we can always tell each other, we can always tell each other. Alongside Spike, we've had a few other cartoons to help us out during lockdown. Here, Bluey gets up a crane for a memory verse about building God's church. Hi everyone, I'm up here, over here. Today's memory verse is all about building. There's a crane on this crane, but it's not about building skyscrapers, it's about building people up. It's from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. Encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. Rod, I need your help with the actions. Sure, Bluey. Okay, no it's encourage one another, 
Show your palms and do a circle and build each other up, do blocks, just as in fact you are doing. Do the A-OK side. That's one Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. Let's yeah. practice it again. Encourage, Encourage one, another, one another, hands, do a circle, and, and build, build each other up, do blocks, just, just as in fact you are doing. doing. That's A-OK. Very nice. One last time. Ready? Go! En encourage, encourage one, one another, another, hands, do a circle, build each, each other up, up, do blocks, just as in fact, fact you are doing. doing. A OK. That's 1, one Thessalonians chapter, chapter 5, five verse, verse 11. 11. Lovely! That was super good. Better get down from this crane. See you later! See you later, Bluey. I hope he does get down from that crane, OK? We're going to return to our characters from Daniel now with the memory verse from Daniel chapter 6. Let's meet some very talkative lions. Hey, yo. Hello, everybody. My name's Raxa. I'm Noxie. Oh, and I'm Nicky. And we're the lions from King Darius's den in Daniel 6. It's not Darius. The correct pronunciation is Darius. No, it's not, you numpty. She's always interrupting me. Enough to make you right, Mardy. Look what I have to put up with. I'm expected to eat people left, right and centre and then I get interrupted all the time. Anyway, what a fuss. Was the memory verse, oh, the memory verse. Right, So, today's memory verse. Come on, everyone. OK. okay. Daniel's, Daniel's God, God is, is the living, living God. God. He, he lives forever. forever. His, His kingdom will never be destroyed. destroyed. His rule will, will never end. end. That's Daniel, Daniel chapter 6, verse 26. And that is totally oh, true, true. Isn't it? Because true. normally we would have scoffed Daniel faster than a chip yeah, butty. Yeah, but God zipped yes. our mouth yes. like right. short. Right. Daddle's done. God is definitely the one in charge here. Exactly. Right, right, let's crack on and blank out some words and see if you can say it again. Okay. okay. Daniel's okay. God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's Daniel chapter 6, verse 20. Oh, champion! Hi, that was great. Let's make it a bit harder. Okay, okay. Here we go. Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's Daniel chapter 6, verse 26. Oh, that was lovely. Wasn't that lovely, gang? Well, we've had a great time, but we've got to get back to our liony business. So we'll bid you a fond farewell. Daddy Mom. Yeah, we've got a meeting to decide who is the Alpha. What? I'm the Alpha. Who organised this? I've always meeting? said this den needs to run with democratic structures. Democratic structures? Don't be daft. You can't even do a good agenda. I can't. You just don't believe in libertarian principles for felines. Mrs Graham returned to Virtual Family Church in June to make us guess another theme to the service. But watch out, she's a bit strict. Hello everybody, it's Mrs Grab here. I'm a Grab. Lovely to see you again. Now today we're going to talk about calendars, won't that be fun? I am, as you can imagine, have a very busy calendar because I'm extremely popular. Uh, but at the moment it's pretty empty, it's just zooming this and zooming that, which is absolutely awful. We're all absolutely fed up of Zoom, aren't we? Anyway, uh, I've got something interesting for us to do today. Today's anagram, again, is the theme of today's service. And it's all about calendars. Yes, that's why I'm talking about it. So I want you to guess it's a it's a date in the calendar. Tricky one, this. So shall we uh, shall we go through the letters? Okay, here we go. First letter is C for crumbly. Next letter is E for edible. Blah. Next letter is T for toot. Next letter is O for oblong. Next letter is B for blonka. Next letter is N for nibble. Nom nom nom. Next letter, S for scrummy. Mm, nummy, nummy, nummy. Next letter, E for enfant. That's a French name. And uh, the last letter, T for tinker. There you go. Can you guess the word? Here we go. Do, 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 do,
Pentecost is our word, which is uh, just when the Holy Spirit came down on the first Christians and we celebrate it in the church every year. Actually, Pentecost was two weeks ago, but we won't, uh, we won't worry about that too much, shall we? Well, that's me over and done with. Just got to go and shampoo my chihuahua. Uh, uh, it's been lovely to see you. Over to you, Rodney. He's a lovely boy, but uh, I don't think he knows one end of a hairbrush from another. <laughs> see ya. At Virtual Family Church, we love Colin Buchanan. Here's the lyric video we made of his Isaiah 46 memory verse. Enjoy. Isaiah chapter 46. Isaiah chapter 46. 46 verse 9 and 10. 46 verse 9 and 10. God says, I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I am God and there is none like me. I say, my plan will stand. I say, my plan will stand. And I will do all that I please. And I will do all that I please. A wiki 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 woo. A wiki 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 woo. A woo woo a dubba 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 cha. A dubba 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 cha. Wiki 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 woo. Wiki 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 woo. Isaiah chapter forty six. Isaiah chapter forty six. Forty six verse nine and ten. Forty six verse nine and ten. God says, I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I am God and there is none like me. I say, my plan will stand. I say, my plan will stand. And I will do all that I please. And I will do all that I please. Wiki, 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 woo. Wiki, 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 woo. A boof, 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 Dubba 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 cha. Dubba 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 cha. Wiki 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 woo. Wiki 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 woo. Yeah. In May we had a week where the theme was I'm just so angry, and we had another challenge to doodle a memory verse with some wise words from Proverbs to help us. Let's get doodling. We're going to doodle today's memory verse. Take a sheet of white paper and write the memory verse right in the middle. A gentle answer turns away rage. Write this bit on the left hand side. And then on the other side write, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs 15 verse 1. Why not make the words gentle and harsh in bubble writing to help them stand out? Can you say it with me? A gentle answer turns away rage, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Now draw a cloud around the words, and then get doodling. Just make overlapping shapes, rounded corners look nice, and put a face in each one. Keep the happy, kind faces on the gentle side. A trick is to keep the eyes far apart and put the mouth on the same level as the eyes. Here's an easy, cheeky smile. And put the angry faces on the harsh side. The easiest cross face to do is just a smile turned upside down. Or how about an upside down V for a mouth? What kind of gentle and harsh faces can you doodle? Our sins were countless like the sand on the shore We should be grateful that the Lord, he's not keeping the score No, his love erased them, they washed away when He hung and died on the cross and paid the pavement Our debt was satisfied On the cross when Jesus died And if we've been forgiven It's gotta change the way
how you go. Can you say it with me? A gentle answer turns away rage, but a harsh word stirs up anger. That's Proverbs 15 verse 1. At Virtual Family Church, we love Pictionary and we love camels. So what better way to introduce the Bible reading than with a spot of camel dictionary? So we've got a new spot for you this morning and this guy is going to help me. He's Kev, he's a camel, and this is camel dictionary. You can probably work out how this is going to work. Kev, the camel here, turns out he's quite a talented artist. So he's going to do a drawing for us. He's going to draw the story that we're going to hear in our Bible reading in just a moment. And you're going to try and guess what it is. First one to guess, it's the winner. So I've got this fancy digital pen and pad here. Kev, you take this. Oh, you got it there, buddy. Okay, you ready? Kev's going to draw it for us. Let's see how we go. Okay, Kev, just whenever you're ready, you just get that pen there. All right, Kev, come on. Stop messing around. Can you get on with it, Kev? Brilliant. Okay, face. Smiley face. Oh, well, doesn't look like a whale, so probably not Jonah and the whale then. I think that's a person. Am I right, Kev? And see some legs and arms. That looks like a happy person. He's wrapped in something. Oh, he's totally wrapped up in that Kev. That's quite a good drawing, buddy. Now, what's that? Could that be a great big Easter egg? Or maybe a, maybe a stone? Maybe a stone? Oh, I think I might know what that is. Kev, does someone say come out in this story? Have you guessed it yet? That's right. It's the story of Lazarus. Ten points if you guessed it. Well, we're going to hear that Bible reading now. Back in our series on Daniel, another character we met along the way was a somewhat deranged fiery furnace, who again helped us to remember our memory verse about God's control of all of history. Hello, I'm the fiery furnace, and when I say fire, it gets jolly hot because I've got such a big fire. Now, a strange thing happened to me today. Normally, they put bricks in me, but there were these three chaps who refused to bow down to the king. He's an idiot, by the way. Uh, and these fellows, because they only worship the God of Israel. So they were chucked into my fire. But a strange thing happened. My fire didn't burn them up. They were just chilling out inside. It was a bit tickly for me, actually. So today's memory verse is all about the God those chaps worship. Now, those weird vegetables did it with you a couple of weeks ago. Can you say it with me? The memory verse goes, Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's Daniel chapter 6, verse 26. And it's true, you know, because Daniel's God controls even my fire. OK, let's do it again and remove some words. Ready? OK, go. Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. Daniel 6, verse 26. Oh, pretty good. OK, let's remove some more words. Ready? Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's Daniel 6, verse 26. Bally brilliant. I think you've got it. OK, right time to crank up my furnace. Ooh, that's hot, jolly hot, just the way I like it. Ooh, fire! At my church, Holy Trinity Gateshead, we're blessed with loads of kids. So in June, we made a slideshow with pics from the children and Colin Buchanan's song to remind us to be strong and courageous. strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his 
little ones safe by his side. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe. Do not fear the fire. Do not fear the water. Fear the thunder. Jesus has conquered them all. Be strong and courageous. The Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe by his side. Be strong and courageous. The Lord of the ages holds all his little ones. Do not fear the darkness. Do not fear the darkness. Do not fear the sadness. Do not fear the sadness. Do not fear the sickness. Do not fear the sickness. Jesus has conquered them all. Be strong and courageous. The Lord of the age. Side. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe. Do not fear the enemy. Do not fear the enemy. Do not fear the poverty. Do not fear the poverty. Do not fear eternity. Conquer them all. Be strong and courageous. The Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe by his side. Be strong and courageous. The Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe. You sing it on your own. In May, we considered how Jesus can sympathise with our lockdown loneliness because he suffered even worse than we did when he went to the cross for us. So let's look at a manga Bible reading of the crucifixion from Matthew's Gospel. Pilate released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium and gathered the whole company of soldiers round him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand and knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. They spat on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they mocked him, they took off the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. There, they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by 
hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, You who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross, if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now, if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. In the same way, the robbers who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, It's calling Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a stick, and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. We often have a theme for the service at Virtual Family Church that ties everything together, the sermon, the Bible readings and the songs. In July, we learned about Nebuchadnezzar being humbled by God in Daniel chapter 4. And we met some Aussie oldies who tried to help us to guess the theme. Let's see how they did. G'day everyone, my name's Darlene and this is my husband Carl. He's a, isn't he handsome? Say g'day Carl. G'day everyone, it's a view to be here. I haven't been this excited since that sheep shearing trip to Coonabarabran. What a rip snorter that was. <laughs> okay, Carl, so today, Rod has asked us to introduce the theme of today's service, right? So I thought we'd play a little game. We love a little game, don't we, Carl? Oh, too right, Carl. So I've got some clues, and Carl, you're going to guess the theme, okay? Sure, I'll give it a bell. Okay, clue number one, here it comes. Rainforest. Ah, tricky. Tropical fruits. No, Carl. There are a few sandwiches short of a picnic. How is the service supposed to be about tropical fruits? Right, clue number two. A boiling kettle? Ah, uh, nice Aussie cuppa. Oh, you're such a drongo. That is not the theme of the service. Let, you, let me give you clue number three. Steam room? Steam room? Fair income, doll. I've got Buckley's chance of getting this. Oh, doll, don't worry about it. I guess clue guessing is just not your forte. The theme this week is humidity. Humidity? What? Well, it's Daniel 4, which is all about humidity, because there's that bit where Nebuchadnezzar gets drenched in the dew. Oh, darling, you dag. It's you who's a few prawns short of a barbie. The theme's not humidity, it's humility, you bogan. Nebuchadnezzar was humbled by God, not just made wet. No, Carl, it's definitely about humidity. I remember Rod especially telling me himself. Oh, don't spit the dummy, Dale, but you need your ears rinsed out. Dale, you'll be cactus if you don't stop going on. You are the ones with a few kangaroos loose in the top paddock. Oh, no, you are. No, you are. You'll be going walkabout if you aren't careful. No, you will. Well, as well as cartoon puppets, we've got a few real puppet friends who help us at Virtual Family Church. One's called Gracie, and she loves balloons. Gracie's here. Hi, Rod. Hi, you everyone. Hey, I've got a fun memory verse for everyone to do today, and it starts with these balloons. Well, looks amazing, Gracie, but what do we do? Well, I've ri written out the memory verse, and I've chopped it up uh, and into bits and put one into each balloon. The game is to pop the balloons and jigsaw the words back together to work out the verses. Let's go! I like Come the sound on, of this. Let's do it. I can do it. I can start with the orange one. Go! Oh, that was so loud! I don't even know where oh, that God. went. Did that behind you, Gracie? <laughs> I don't know. There it is. Oh. Well, right beside me all along. <laughs> and what does it, say, it God? says, with you always. With you always. Come on, do another one. Oh, ah! What was wow, that? Wow, that's so loud. 
Uh, Here we go. It says... Yeah, what's it say? What's I it say? am. Ah, yeah. Hmm. OK, next one. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh that was noisy. Oh. They're really noisy. I didn't know <laughs> we were going to be this crazy. noisy. What's it say? Quick. Uh, it says, to thee. To thee. No. Oh. Oh. Next one. What's to it? thee. And surely. And surely. Hmm. That's cool. what... Oh, my goodness. I didn't Where expect that, that one. Way over here. Where's it oh, gone? Where's it going? This is crazy. <laughs> it's, What's happening? It's chaos, isn't it? <laughs> it says the age. Oh, no, the it says age. of the age. Of the age. Come hmm. on, last one, last two. Oh, oh, give oh me, you don't give me any notice. <laughs> Sorry, Gracie, should warn you. Here we go. What's it say? It says very end. Very end. Hmm. Last one. Speaking of the very Here end. Here we go. Oh. There we go, it last one. It gives me shock every time, That's even though amazing. I can see you doing it. <laughs> it's Matthew 28, Ooh. verse 20. Matthew 28, verse, verse 20. Well, has anyone guessed what it is yet or worked it out? You better tell us, Gracie. It's Jesus saying, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. It's a great verse mm. if you're feeling lonely. Can you say it with me, everyone? You too, Rod. Sure. One, two, three. And, and surely... surely I am, I am with, with you always to the very end of the, of the age. age. Matthew, Matthew 28, 28, verse 20. Brilliant! And everyone, if you've, if you've got any balloons, why not try doing it using a different memory verse on someone in your family this afternoon? It's really fun. Thanks for playing, Rod. I'll see you later. Thanks, Gracie. Over the last few months, Andy Gorn has been helping us with some brilliant Bible talks for our kids. And in May, he finished up his series on Job with this really great song about Job.
Now, Bluey, a resident cartoon puppet, also popped up, popped up on my sofa a few times. Here's a memory verse we did for a service about the hope that Jesus gives us for life after death. Hi, folks. Do you know I love doing jazz hands? Ah, oh, we do. This memory verse has loads of them. Great. It's John 11, verse 25. When Jesus was speaking to Mary, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. The person who believes in me, even though he dies, will live. Rod, can you do the actions with me? Sure. Goes, I'm the resurrection. Raise your hands up. I'm the life. Just hands. The person who believes in me, hand on heart. Even though he dies, hands down. We'll live. Just hands again. John chapter 11, verse 25. Wow, amazing! Yeah. Let's do it again. I'm the resurrection. Hands up. And life. life. Just hands. The person who believes in me, me, hand on heart. Even though Even he dies, dies, hands down. We'll live. live. Just hands. John, John chapter, chapter 11, 11, verse 25. 25. And one more time. Ready? Go. And the resurrection. resurrection. Hands up. And the life. life. Just hands. The, the person, person who believes, believes in me, me, hand on heart, even, even though, though he dies, dies, hands down. We'll, we'll live. live. Just hands. Nice work, everyone. Love your moose. See you later. Nice one, Bluey. See you later. Kev, Virtual Family Church's pet camel, has found lockdown pretty hard, just like the rest of us, really. So we thought another round of camel dictionary would perk him up as we guessed the theme of a service in May. Look who's here, everyone. It's my mate, the camel. It's Kev. How you doing, buddy? Oh, Kev, you don't look your usual animated self. Is something wrong? Oh, what is it? Is the travel agent still not giving you a refund from that trip to Egypt? Your lady friend not answering your calls on Zoom? Oh, buddy, that's tough. But you know what? I, I think I can think of something that'll cheer you up. How about a game dictionary? Or better yet, camel dictionary. He's Kev. He's a camel, and this is Camel Dictionary. Let's cheer you up. Why don't you take this pen? And I've got an idea. Why don't you tell us what the theme of today's service is? Yeah, you can write it on here, draw it on here, and we'll see if we can figure it out as we go along. Okay, what are you drawing? Oh, a pirate's hat. Pirate's hat or a hill? Or is that a pearl in a clamshell? It's pretty shiny. Um, oh no, what's that? That's not a pearl. Oh, those eye, eye, eyelashes, that's an eye. It's an eye. I've, I'm, I, I am a van sheepdog. No, I'm red, no, Ed sheepdog. What is that muddy old thing? Wait, is that, is that rust? Are you an ust? Uh, sounds like rust with the, out the R. Ju oh, just, I'm just a sheepdog. Is that right, Kev? Is that what we're doing today in the service? No, what's that? That's not toilet paper, is it? Tear off strip? No, what is that? Oh, hang on. Is that like a thread? Oh, I know what that is. You're sewing. I'm just sewing. Oh, just sew. Okay. Now, what are you drawing there, buddy? I'm just a flying sheep. Ah, jumpy. I'm just so jumpy. You jumpy, Kev? Keep me awake at night? Oh, oh, over, jumping over. Of course, yes. I'm just so over dogs. Kev, you know, dogs sometimes get my goat too. They're just always so friendly, aren't they? They want to lick you and, oh, hang on, you're still drawing. Um, what is that? He's sitting on a chair. I'm just so over, sit, it. I'm just so over it. Oh, Kev, that's the theme of today's service. I'm just so over it. Plenty of us, maybe us included, are really over this lockdown thing. It's just going on and on and on, isn't it? But the Bible actually says plenty about being patient and enduring in difficult times. So Matt's going to talk to us about that later on in the service. Thanks for your help, Kev. I hope we've cheered you up, and I hope you can stick around for the rest of the service. It's going to be good. The last memory verse we've got to show you from Daniel comes from the week we studied chapter 1. You remember the bit where Daniel and his friends are put into exile in Babylon? They showed their trust in God by refusing to eat Nebuchadnezzar's fancy food and opted for vegetables instead. And we got two of the surviving vegetables to help us out with memory verse. 
Hello, I'm Brian. Hello, I'm Jeffrey. You know how Daniel and his friends chose to eat vegetables instead of the king's fancy food in the Bible reading? Well, we're some of the vegetables Daniel are. didn't eat. We are. Oh, that's that, why we're so happy. That was a close one. Oh. Oh. Okay, Jeff. Now, apparently, our job today is to do the memory verse. It's from oh. Daniel, chapter 6, verse 26. Shall we do one line each, Jeff? Yeah. Here we go. Everyone, listen up. Daniel, Scott. He's the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's Daniel 6, 26. Tell you what, everyone in Babylon is finding out this right now. Yeah. Daniel's God, the God of the Bible, is the only living God. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Right, right. Okay, everyone, let's blank out some words and see if you can say it with us again. Okay, ready to go? Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's but Daniel, Daniel 6, 6 verse, verse 26. 26. Nice. Now, yeah. one more time. This time, let's blank out all the words, OK? Ooh. Right. right. Ready, go. Daniel's God is the living God. He lives forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed. His rule will never end. That's, That's Daniel, Daniel 6, 6 verse, verse 26. 26. That was brilliant. Yeah, good one. Hey, good one. Hey, Jeff, do you know they're planning Ratatouille for tea tonight? Do you think that involves a turnip? Oh, uh, Jeff, what exact veg are you? Oh, I think I'm a yam. Oh. Or am I a sweet? a sweet? Or maybe a gourd. A gourd. <gasps> gourd ratatouille. Oh. That sounds delicious. Oh, it does. <gasps> Do you think oh. we should go back to hiding in the back of the water yeah. cupboard? Yeah, let's go. Oh, quick, let's get out of here. Bye. Yeah. Bye. See you later, everyone. Bye. 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 So that's it from Virtual Family Church Highlights. Do join us anywhere, any week, except in August, at 9.30am Sunday mornings on Clayton TV or Google us on YouTube. Alongside fun clips, we also have a short kids Bible talk and a full-length Bible talk for adults every week, as well as singing from the Keswick Convention, Bible readings and prayers. If you like us, please like us on YouTube, subscribe and share the word with your friends. We hope to see you some Sunday soon. Goodbye.